Hi guys, today's Saturday. I've not been up long. When I woke up, I checked my messages and apparently the dogs have arrived safely in the UK, thank God. Uh, basically, there was a few complications yesterday when they got to the Cali side in France and they're trying to get through the Euro Tunnel. Apparently, there's, there's some new rules and conditions on how many dogs you can br bring through. So, most of us in the group chat, we was panicking and thinking what's going to happen with our dogs and what about the money, etc. Is everything going to be all right? Um, but luckily, uh, the transportation lady, she knew exactly exactly what she's doing she managed to persevere and get through it and now they're here safe and sound in the UK she's currently in Kent so obviously she's gonna take a few hours to get to Manchester but I'm not sure if she's gonna be delivering to everyone else first but as long as they're safe and as long as they're here uh, <laughs> Well, I can't ask for anything more, but I just got to say I'm happy because today is the actual day that the dogs are rising. Yes, let's see how this goes. Right, it's 7.34 p.m. right now, uh, Saturday, is it the 12th, 12th of December? And the dog has finally arrived. Oh my God, guys, let's go down and meet him. It's only just arrived today, to be honest. But he's a big boy for three months. Guess it's gonna take some hard work and some patience but surely it'll pay off come on boy tux hey tux <laughs> even though it's massive it's still a puppy now this is going to be some hard work because he's not listening for sit. shit watch sit no tux 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 tux, tux, tux. he's hand. not listening okay it's gonna be an interesting journey. Keep, uh, keep following my page and I'll keep you guys posted with how he gets on with me, how he gets on with my missus, how he gets on with our five month baby, how he gets on with Lily, the cat, who's Hi. petrified right now and hiding under the bed. Tux is uh, first bar. He's being so behaved. Second bar. Second bar, sorry. He's not crying, he's not moaning. He's not had any accidents. I'm proud of him. He's getting on God's good boy. Sit down, Tux. Sit. Sit. Sit, Tux. Encourage him a bit. Come on, Tux. Sit. No, with this bumping. Good boy. Come on, Tux. Sit down. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Look, when it came to his sit command, I made quite a few mistakes. First of all, I didn't give him a chance to settle in. How can I just expect him to come through the door and just start throwing out commands straight away, sit, lie down, whatever? After all, he's travelled all the way from Belarus, which is past Poland, so he's had a long, long drive. So I'm assuming he was hungry, he was thirsty, and he probably wanted to just sniff around and get to know his new environment. The second mistake I made was the fact that I wasn't being considerate towards his age. After all, he's only a pup three months of age, his attention span is very short apparently and he's just full of excitement and wants to play. So that's another mistake I made. Thirdly, I'd say that because he's come from a different, he's come from a European country, I'm assuming that they were speaking to him in a different language, not English, so I probably made a little bit of a mistake there too. And finally, the other mistake I made was I didn't look into how to train my dog properly. You, you know what I'm saying? It's like there's a routine in there, you're supposed to follow a routine. So for example, when you take him out for a walk first, let him run around and play, burn all his excess energy out and then bring him home on an empty stomach when he's hungry, apparently he's more willing to work. So I should have done that and I didn't follow the procedure. So um, just want to say guys, just bear in mind, I'm a first time dog owner. It's my first time having a pup. Um, I'm learning as I'm going along. So if anyone's got any comments or any suggestions, please leave them down below. I'd be happy to take them on board. Also, the couple of times that I did get him to actually sit down, I'm assuming that he was just doing it because he wanted to and not because he was listening to me. So I fluked it because uh, a couple of days later, well, not even a couple of days later, straight away the next day after, <laughs> he's back to square one, he's not sitting at all, he's not listening, so it's going to take some time, it's going to take some work. This is something we're definitely going to need training with. Going up and down the stairs, when I was taking him out, he refused to go down, so I had to carry him. Um, now coming back inside, he's not coming on. Tox, come on, come on. So uh, I'm gonna train him with this, let's see how he gets on. Dad. Good 
boy, good boy. So he's clearly just proven he's capable of doing it. Um, my missus was being persistent with him, offering him treats, being patient. Um, the tactic we figure out to use here is look, he's got scared again here now. It's literally being patient with him. That's the main thing we've got to do is be patient because when we're forcing him down, like pulling him by his collar or picking him up and bringing him down, he's not learning to do it himself. So we're just waiting for him to gain the confidence to come down himself. Good boy, good boy. Come on, Tux. Come on, Tux. Good boy. There we go. That's his second second try. Second uh, time he's come down, shall I say. Come on, let's... In a matter of days, from being absolutely petrified of the stairs, we've got him. <laughs> we've got him flying up him now to the point where he's leaving me. Look, he wants to continue. Tox, no, that's not our fault. Come on. Good boy.